Greetings, exchange family, and welcome back, Beauty Tribe, to another amazing episode of Beauty Live. I'm so excited to be your host for today, and I have an OG makeup brand in the building with me today, Black Radiance. So can we give a huge round of applause to our Black Radiance ladies? Everyone. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for joining us. And greetings from Black Radiance. So I'm so excited that we guys get to have you guys on today. First things first, for those who may not know, what is Black Radiance? Black Radiance is a, a beauty brand that was established in 1993. Uh, we are celebrating 30 years of Black Radiance this year. Um, it's very exciting times for us, but the Black Radiance was established to um, amplify the inner beauty and outer beauty of African-Americans and women of color. Uh, we also uh, respond and listen to the voices of our consumer, and we amplify those voices, whether it's in the community, anywhere in the world, um, uh, heritage, their perspective. So we're really in tune to uh, who our customer is, what she wants, what she needs, um, and you can that is reflected through our assortment that you will see in our line. And today we're going to show you some of our favorite products that we use. I'm Sherry. I'm this Karima. Karima. And um, I will be showing you um, sort of my daytime look, and then Karima's going to show you so. okay. more fierce nighttime look. Nighttime look. So that's what we're what's happening today. No, that's so exciting. So I'm excited to see how you guys put these looks together. So I received some cool different products. So today I'm wearing the Bear With Me lipstick, and I put on a little bit of contour from the contour palette. Um, something I'm excited about that I want to tell the customer about is the Hydrate and Blur face primer. This was legit. I love the consistency of the primer. I actually used that today under the concealer and the rest of the cool products that I put on. Also, I can't say enough good things about this. I just want to say this before we get into the demo. Mm -hmm. The True Complexion Concealer. You guys, it goes on so smoothly. I love the applicator. It's nice and big and it's nice and cushiony. So when you're putting on your concealer, however you like to put it on, I do like a little dot and then like a line. Um, but super, super glad it's just easy on the skin. So I, that's just my little tidbit about my favorite things going on right now and why you should be using these products because you know there's a lot of stuff out there but this holy grail stuff okay all right <laughs> let's so, get into the looks though sherry yeah so you you just teed me up very nicely kiana so you mentioned um our hydrate and blur so i'm i start with um hydrate and blur as my primer and so one of the reasons you want to use a primer is like if you were uh, painting your walls or setting a canvas, you prime it first so that the, the paint or the materials that you are applying go on nice and smoothly. So, okay, okay I am not a, an influencer, so I won't be squirting on my face. I, I, I put it on my fingertips <laughs> and then I go in and then I start to move it around. So I start usually under my eyes and I work it in. And uh, one of the things I didn't do was pull my hair back. So I'm going to take a clip and put my hair back really quick so you can see me get into it, right? So, and I tend to like rub it into my eyes so that, um, you know, with the powder, sometimes they can be drying. But this is, this is called hydrate and blur. So what I really like about it versus some of the other versions of the primer that we have is that it hydrates my skin. And so um, it, it feels really nice and silky. So, um, and it has uh, vitamin E and uh, vitamin B5. So it's really doing some nice nurturing and uh, nourishing of your skin um, before you apply it. Now, normally I start from top to bottom, but depending on what my day is like or what, what I feel is going on, um, I go in and do a, a few different things. So since I'm doing a daytime look, I'm going to start with a couple colors from our Brilliant Effects eyeshadow palette, um, Midnight Magic. And uh, the reason I'm going to use a couple colors out of this palette, I'm gonna use Hypnotic, Vanish, and Trickster today um, because I'm wearing brown and I, I just want sort of a subtle color um, so I'm going to do uh, a couple of things to uh, get my eye a little uh, brighter. So since, you know, I work every day, so I like to have a certain look. 
Um, and one of the reasons you, you may hear to put your shadow on first is because the shadow gives you a little residue underneath. So if you if you go in and you put your concealer or your um, your foundation on first and you get a little residue from the, the powders, then you're gonna have to wipe it off, right? So it's better to just uh, let it fall where it, where it will and then take a little um, makeup remover and then remove it. So, uh, so you won't remove what you've already put on, right? So, um, so you just, you know, first of all, you have to have all your tools to your fingers are great, but not for everything, right? So you might have some eyeshadow brushes. Um, you know, you have like an angle brush for things you want to get angled. Um, so we have a couple different tools. You know, contour brush. We have a bronzer brush um, that I actually use for one of my favorite products, which is called Soft Focus, which we'll get into later. But let me get started on um, my eyeshadow palette. So again, using Brilliant Effects. Um, I'm going in with my hypnotic, which is a slightly brown shade. Um, I tend to put it all over. So um, just to give it a, a blend in with my skin a little bit. And this is what it looks like, guys. See all the 12 pretty colors. So I have pigmented it. too. Like I'll show you guys just one. This is Trickster, but look how pigmented it is. And then illusion, just really, really pigmented. I love that. So then I'm going to go in with a little vanish to give me a little highlight under my brow a little bit. And I tend to do something a little bit different from probably most folks. I um, do my, my, my uh, accent color like right on the edge, right? So you might not be able to see it so well, but I like it a lot. And I like blending colors together. So it's just a little bit of pop on the so end. She's using Hypnotic, Vanish, and Trickster. These three. Right. So kind of like give it a little shape. So it might, you may be able to see that. I'm going to move over into the light a little bit more, right? So then now that my powders are on, then I'm going to go in with my continuous eyeliner, uh, eyeliner right here. And this comes with our own brush. It's a really nice soft brush. Um, and this cream contour uh, continuous eyeliner is this nice deep black um, cream. So, and because you're using an angled brush, you can get a nice um, sharp line when you, when you go in and add in your eyeliner. So I'm gonna go in and add my eyeliner. And even though it's cream, it's still water resistant and smudge proof. So that's great. I was also going to ask Sherry, which eyeliner are you using right now? The continuous, continuous cream eyeliner. Oh, nice. I like that. So you can just use that. You said it comes with its own little brush. It comes with its own little brush. And it has that's a little funny. Angle, so let me put that in the light there. Can you see mm -hmm. that? I love it. Right. And this is really nice because you can get that cat eye nice and even and you can really control it. But I don't know if you can see that a little bit. You can control how thick or yeah. thin you would like your yeah. eyeliner to be. I think this is quickly becoming one of my favorites. Um, and I guess we had a, a guest celebrity uh, makeup artist on set uh, a couple of weeks ago and she was loving it and I watched her use it and I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna try that. And lo and behold, I really do love it. All right. Now you can start seeing, I have to move into the light a little bit. Sorry, it's <laughs> okay. So, okay. So now you see that I have on some tone, but not too much because again, this is uh, for a daytime look. So that I look fresh and bright eyed and bushy tailed to come in to work. So now I'm going to, I'm going to um, now go in and add my, um, my concealer. So this is um, fair to light. Now you can see that this is not exactly my skin tone, but because I want my eyes to look a little bright and um, I don't wanna say not a hyperpigmentation, but I have a little bit of allergy. So I rub my eyes quite a bit. And so they might get a little dark here. So I'm gonna use a little bit lighter than my, my normal complexion. So I'm using fair to light. And so we're gonna go in and just add a little bit here underneath my eyes. I don't usually add too much in other places, but you can see where I've added. 
And then I'm going to go in with my sponge and it'll give me a slightly lighter effect. I don't know, how am I doing on time? <laughs> and our long wire concealer has four uses. So you can use it as foundation, mm -hmm. concealer, as a highlight or a contour. Exactly, exactly. So now you can see that I'm, I've already started to take away that little um, morning <laughs> shadow, I guess. Um, but yeah, that, that's what I do. And so then from there, um, I can go in with my... Um, my Color Perfect Liquid Makeup. So this color that I'm using is 8419 Caramel. It is like almost perfect match to my uh, skin tone. And what's really nice that most brands don't have this little paddle. So I'm gonna um, tap in a little bit of color. Not strategically, <laughs> where I, which is all over. Um, but I think I got a little bit here. So let's just go in. And then now I'm going to go in and smooth that in a little bit more. Now you guys notice I have a real mole here. So I'm going to go back in and make sure I have that when we're done. <laughs> <laughs> I have to keep my molds. It's my, 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 my special mark. My right? beauty mark. My beauty mark. God given. All right. So now you can see that my skin is starting to get that nice, smooth, smooth look all over, which I really like. Mm -hmm. And you can see that there's not this ashiness or anything like that because this tone, uh, we have 24 um, tones for our, um, our, our color perfect. So you're bound to find a tone that really works for you. Yes. Um, and it, and it's what's nice is that it's not oily, it's water based, and and it really goes on nice and smooth. And it, there's not much residue left even on my sponge. So then next, um, what I like to do is go in with our um, contour palette. This is a gem, okay? Because we have three tones here: the darker tones for sculpting, I mean for contouring, and the middle, middle tone is for sculpt. And the um, brighter tone is for highlighting. So I use a brush like this um, for this particular process. And I probably might not wear this on a daily basis. If I have extra time to play around in the mirror in the morning, then I will do the contour palette. But under normal circumstances, you might just see this and a little, some color, something maybe on my cheeks and with eyes, and then I'm good to go. But today we're gonna do the contour. So I put a little bit on my brush because a little bit actually goes a long way. So I'm gonna, you can see how it starts up underneath my cheekbone here. I can start getting that contour going. No, I learned that the hard way when I was trying on the contour today or putting it on. Mm -hmm. I started with this cheek and <laughs> I, you know, just thinking like, you know, let me just do 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 do, right? Tap, tap, tap. As yeah. soon as I smacked it on, I was like, <laughs> but so we just blended it but it's so pigmented I love it and it just yeah. does really good for like highlighting your little cheekbones or if you want to kind of chisel your face a bit so that was my little exciting moment exactly so now that I have this sort of chisel that I kind of did right here and over here so you can see like my cheekbones are already starting to lift up and then I'm going to go in and sculpt I use the sculpt to kind of blend a little bit right I blend it a little bit nice I don't do the nose because I kind of like the shape of my nose. So I don't sculpt my nose, but I, I do like the, the cheeks. And then I just kind of start working it all in. And now you can see, like I'm really starting to look kind of smoothed out, right? Everything's kind of smoothing out a little bit. Looking pretty good, right? Yeah, it looks great. So that's our contour palette. Like these are blowing out. So this yeah. is what you want to get. It comes in. Light to medium, medium to dark, and dark to deep. Can't go wrong. It's like, on, it's like literally our number one seller. All right. So next, I am going to go in with, um, now that I have that all in, I can now go in um, do my brows because now I put in, uh, I have. Or your favorite, what about your favorite soft focus? Um, yeah, I guess I should go in with soft focus. Wait, I did my eyebrow. See, this is not the normal way I normally do it. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go in with soft focus because now that I have all my color on, oh, you know what? 
No, back up, back up. I forgot my highlighter. So, so this, my highlighter here. Boom. You put a little bit on my nose, put a little bit on my chin, put a little on my forehead, and right here. Bam. There we go. Sorry, not used to talking through my makeup routine. <laughs> <laughs> so there, okay, now we can go in with soft focus. And then honestly, I'm going to go back in and touch up my eyebrows because when you tend to put in a lot of powder, you know, your hair start getting dull looking so you, and so your eyelashes. So I usually finish up with my brows, my eyes, and my lips. Okay, so this is the piece de resistance, <laughs> soft focus. This is the bomb diggity right here, let me tell you. This, you talk about hydrate and blur, this um, sort of mats and blurs, right? So it helps to keep everything in place, but this honestly makes your face feel like velvet. So a nice uh, big bronzer brush to get that big palette. And I don't think many people have this big a palette. And this is one of the things I love about this. So anyway, go in and finish off, seal everything in. And it's great if you have yeah. oily skin, it'll kind of mattify you, right. blur all your imperfections. Right. And, and in this case, because I'm under heavy lights, I'm just going to go in and just add a little bit more highlighter real quick again. Keep it, keep it real. And then um, my eyebrows are already are very bushy. I had them waxed for such an occasion as this. So I'm just going to go in and use my um, brow brush and pull up. And using our um, micro, uh, micro brow, this, I, I don't know if I can do this on here. I'm gonna show you this. There's like three little prongs that help to um, mimic your eyebrows, right? So this is really neat. So I think I can show that a little bit there. And so then I'm gonna go in and just kind of give a little bit more definition to my eyebrows. And it helps to take away some of the um, loose setting. Is that alert? alert. Oh. All right. Perfect. And then I'm also going to go in now and put on my bold and sexy um, fiber. Oh my gosh. We're all getting um, amber yeah. alerts. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, so, so I'm going to put on Bold and Sexy Fiber Mascara. What I love about this is that it gives you this natural lengthening of your lashes, right? So now that's really, you can see how it's lifting. And actually a little powder actually almost conditions it and gives you a little extra lift. So you can be bold and yeah. sexy. These are very, very conditioning with fiber lashes. We actually have five mascaras, but the one mm -hmm. she's using and the one I'm using today are my two top favorites. Yeah, for sure. And so you just like kind of pull from the, the root of your uh, lash to the tip and get a nice length going on. Really great. And sometimes I tend to take my mascara and even touch up my brows sometimes too, to just give them that extra darkness that I like. Um, okay. And so now, finalizing everything, we're going in with a little bit of Bear Me, which is um, Bear With Me, Bear With Me, which is a tone I really love because it's very natural looking, mm -hmm. but it has a little bit of shimmer inside. And it has vitamin E oil to keep your lips nice and hydrated and not dry mm -hmm. throughout the day. So here's that look. Looking fabulous. <laughs> and then we're going in with a little lipstick. Yeah, our Brilliant Effects lip gloss. This is our Brilliant Effects. I'm trying to get it into the light and on the camera. And we go in for a little shine, a little luscious lip action. Yeah. And a lot of our products uh, you can use on more areas than it actually is identified as. Like 
I could use um, any product anywhere on my face pretty much, um, which I love. Uh, so it's multi-purpose, but this is me. This is my day look. Ta-da! I think we're done. I think I used everything. Yeah. There we go. Up close and personal. <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> that's fine. But that's my day look, my everyday look. All right. All right, so now we get to Karima, who's just like, just nice and bright, and she's going to give you an evening look, a yes. day night, night look. All right, so, so let's get going. We start now. I'm going to start with my primer. I'm going to go with the Long Lasting and Toning Primer. So if we're going out, night out with the girls or on a date or something, you want your makeup to last all night. And if you're a woman of a certain age, you want that toning aspect as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and she does it the nice, the new a, way. <laughs> a little bit on my face. And, and this is enriched with vitamin B5 and vitamin E as well. Um, and a lot of our products, all of our products are cruelty-free. Um, this is also vegan, gluten-free, and cruelty-free. Nice. And it's fast drying, so you don't have mm -hmm. to wait for it to dry mm -hmm. to get started on your next step, which I like. And this is 100% oil-free. All of our... Um, Primers are oil free. So now I'm going to go in with my True Complexion Long Wear Concealer in Fair. And a little bit goes a long way. So I'll put just like one dot right under my eye. And then I like to just use my finger to blend it in. So the warmth of your skin kind of helps blend it a little bit. And so again, you know, you have the four qualities that are concealers. They, uh, they can be used as a foundation, a highlighter, a sculptor, and obviously a concealer. And I'll put a little bit of my eyelid so that when I do my shadow, it pops. Mm -hmm. And also our um, concealer is also moisturizing. Yes, very moisturizing, mm -hmm. very smooth. So, so my next step, I'm going to go with my tinted moisturizer mm -hmm. and it, this has SPF 15 in it so this is great if you're going to be outside all day or if you just want that extra protection from the sun mm -hmm. so that I just boom do a little line across mm -hmm. so this also moisturizes and minimizes shine especially if you're outside so I'll use my kind of medium-sized brush to kind of distribute that all around and actually, we also have our um, Perfect Tone Lip Gloss has SPF 15 in it as well. Mm -hmm. If you want that extra protection on your lips. Mm -hmm. And so the Tinted Moisturizer has a matte finish. Um, and it's fragrance-free and cruelty-free. Actually, I have a little blemish here. So I'm going to go back with my concealer and just add a little bit there. Mm -hmm. Kind of blend that out with my brush. And you notice how the tinted moisturizer uh, color correct. So it's giving her a nice even tone all over. Yes. There you go. go. So next we're going to go in with our artisan color baked blush in the tone warm berry. Just like a kind of nice pinkish color. Go in with my blush brush and just oh, she's getting that. Blend she's that getting ready for her Friday night. <laughs> I like to blend it up into my brow bone. So you can also put this on wet or dry. Oh, I didn't know that. And it blends easily. Mm -hmm. Okay, do the other cheek. And our artisan uh, baked uh, blushes and our baked bronzers are great for any skin type, any skin tone. They're very pigment rich. All right. Okay, do a little on my forehead and nose. Okay. Now I do it a little differently than Sherry. So yeah. now I'm going to go in with my eyeshadow. I don't usually get, you know, the take basic. back mm -hmm. under my eyes. So. I'll go in with my eyes next. So I'm going to go with the tone Vanish right here, this gold colored, kind of go with my dress. 
And this very sparkly color, Spellbound here, it has like a green shimmer to it. It's really pretty. So each of our uh, Brilliant Effects eyeshadow palettes have 12 highly pigmented colors. So um, there's a nice mix between matte shades, shimmer shades, um, and glitter shades. And they're and, all long lasting. Yeah, and they are very pigmented. Like mm -hmm. a little bit goes a long way. You yeah. don't need a lot. So I'm just sweep that over the lid of my eye. And all of our um, eyeshadow palettes are cruelty free, fragrance free, um, and paraben free. Nice. And they're nice and lightweight, so they're easy to travel with. And also, too, each uh, compact comes with a nice size mirror. So yeah. I don't even, yeah, you can show the mirror there. They're a nice big mirror, too, mm -hmm. not a little bitty one. Yeah. And there are also some metallic sh uh, shades in there, which he's putting on as a metallic shade. Yeah, so now I'm going to go in with my Spellbound to kind of amp up the drama. Mm -hmm. Now, Karima comes in every day with like this bright face. <laughs> that just like brightens your day, like as soon as you walk in. So I'm going to um, blend it out with my other brush. Yeah, she's doing a nice Here. smoky eye. I always look ridiculous when I do smoky eyes. I don't feel like I'm blending it properly. So I'm interested, Karima, in your tips on getting a flawless smoky eye. Okay, so I apply it with this like kind of flat brush. If you can see it. And then I'm going to go in with my like light fluffy brush to help blend right. it out. Let's see. I'm just kind of go in the circle. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, um, every skin tone is very different, whereas she would put on um, some of the darker tones and they apply very quick, whereas I'm medium tone. Um, and so I might put it on a little heavier to just really create the, the smoky, smoky look. I would, it would, I would have to work a little harder to create the smoky look, whereas hers comes up very quickly. Yes, I'm very fair. So they show up. quite bright on my skin. But I have to say, I'm looking at myself in the camera and I'm like, wow, that, that really came out pretty good. And then I'll just like sweep it like down at the bottom of my lid. Yeah, that's a good idea. Along the lash line. And then when you're creating that smoky look, you almost want to um, like, let's say a raccoon kind of look, but it's like, you know, you kind of get that full effect. A pretty raccoon. Yeah. <laughs> well, I did the raccoon earlier with the, under my eyes so that was it was brighter oh yeah so next I'm gonna go in with my bold and sexy liquid eyeliner pen mm -hmm. and this one has two two um tips tips yes thank you there's a sexy end and a bold end so one end is really thick mm -hmm. and the other one is thin I like to use the sexy side but the bold I would say would be really good for like if you want to get that nice Amy Winehouse 1950s mm -hmm. kind of look, that would be perfect. For yeah, for sure. Let me see. I'll just use this mirror. So I can go real close to the the last one. Fill it in. So our bold and sexy uh, liquid eyeliner is has deep pigmentation as well. And it's a uh, smudge resistant, which is really nice to have when you, especially when you're adding extra black tones on your eyes. You know, you don't want the the either residue or smudging touching your face to kind of rub off. So it's smudge resistant. Yes. Or if you have allergies like I do, and your eyes water a lot, mm -hmm. and do the other side. Mm -hmm. And it's long lasting. What's really nice about this is that. You know, sometimes you may have one or two items that you have in your handbag or small purse. You know, this is almost like this, uh, a little bit bigger than a pencil. So you have the opportunity to just put it in your bag, pop it out. If You know, if you're going out at night straight from work, just pop that in your bag and you can just really, you know, um, accent your eyes really quickly, um, literally at the drop of a dime. 
Yeah, perfect travel size. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with my little cat eye situation. Yeah. And it's fast drying, which is really important when it comes to your eyes. So next, this is my favorite mascara that Black Radiance carries. It's our Eye Appeal Length and Volume Mascara. So mm -hmm. it says it in the name. It does all the things that you want your mascara to do. You want length and you want volume. You want long, thick lashes. So. Exactly. Once again, it's cruelty-free, fragrance-free, and vegan and paraben-free. Nice. So I like to just wiggle it back and forth a little bit to get that volume. And then use my flexible wand, wand to kind of define each lash, each lash. I don't really have long under lashes, so I'm not going to really approach those. See, she's like really pulling the from the root to the tip to give it the bling. You know, yeah. do a couple coats of the mascara to give you that um, brilliant effect. Nice. Yeah, that looks really good. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, they can see. Mm -hmm. See the difference? But yeah, this is my favorite mascara. I use it every single day. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, this one is actually water resistant. We don't call it waterproof, but it does have water resistance. Yeah, like I said, I have watery eyes. The wind blows in my eyes water. So, <laughs> And this is also infused with biotin. And we know that biotin is really good for hair, um, strengthening hair, uh, nourishing and enriching hair. So, and it also has pro-vitamin uh, B5 as well. So your eyelashes are getting conditioned while they're looking glamorous. Oh, look at that, look at her. Right. And these all a lot of our formulas are ophthalmologist tested and proven. So um, you can really trust um, that Black Radiance is uh, one of the number one performing brands um, uh, for African Americans or anybody else, uh, women of color. So now I'm just going to touch up my eyebrows with my precision brow sculptor in blackish brown. And I like this one because it has a little spoolie on the end so I can brush up my eyebrows really quickly and then the tip is very fine mm -hmm. so you can make those like hair like strokes let me use this one so I can see better oh, I like to just fill that in a little bit in the places where the hair is a little sparse Mm -hmm. and on the tip is the the formula is very creamy so it glides nice and smoothly yeah. And with the um, blackish brown, you have a more natural look. Uh, uh, some people like to have very dark eyebrows. Um, she's chosen the blackish brown, so it's closer to her skin tone. So when she goes in to mimic the um, hair, hair strokes, um, it looks a lot more natural. Yeah. There, you can see that brow a little bit better. And I'll just do the other one really quick. And what's really nice about this um, precision um, brow sculpture is that um, the tip is very, very fine. Um, so you get that micro point to go in and just sculpt in your, um, your eye brows. That looks really good. Nice. Look at her. Nice, she's getting ready. Okay, so very last step. Oh no, not the very last step, second to last. So I'm gonna, I like a real bright lip. So I'm gonna go in with my ooh, perfect tone lip color. And this one is called Very Bold. It's like a purpley fuchsia color. And our lip color is Nourish and soften and moisturize. Yeah, it's a nice creamy, creamy sort of look. Yes, vitamin E moisturizes your lips, no dry lips. Yeah, you might wanna use that because you're covering your- Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I can see you with this one. Thank you. Yep. Wow. 
And then I'm going to pair that with our Brilliant Effects lip gloss because I like a nice juicy lip. And this is in the shade Luscious. So just extra moisturizing. And it glides on very nice and it, it, it lasts. I mean, you can see that mine, even with my talking, is lasting. You know, it just has that nice um, shine and glimmer to it. Yeah, and, and it has a nice point. brush mm -hmm. uh, brush applicator. Mm -hmm. And it smells really good. Yeah. Like a nice kind of berry fruity mm -hmm. color um, smell. So yeah, the shine is very wet looking. Um, has a finish, nice finish to it. Um, has a little micro glitter going on. Yes. And then I'm going to go in with our long lasting setting spray. And this pairs really nicely with our long lasting and toning primer. I'm just going to spritz my whole face real quick so that everything stays put for the night. So, hold on the brand new one. There you go. Okay, here we go. That's it. Ta da! Hey. <laughs> yeah. And hey, I just want to add uh, a, a little tidbit about our long wear concealer is that it has also, it's infused with caffeine. Now, I don't drink coffee, me but, either. but when I put this on, it, it makes me think that I was having my morning cup of Joe so that I look nice and bright and bushy tail, you know. So that's a, something to think about when you uh, think about your concealer choices, um, that the caffeine helps to invigorate um, whatever surface that is going on. Nice. So you guys, that's, that's us day and night. Um, if you have some questions for us, we'd love to answer some of your questions. Yes. So I'll actually turn to the comment section now. So our first question comes from Christine. What are the go-to eyeshadow colors for fall? The go-to eyeshadow colors for fall. Well, we have two palettes. Okay, so we have Brilliant Effects, um, the Midnight Magic palette, but we also have another palette that's called Tribal Brights. So um, a lot of people use Tribal Brights during the spring, summer months. So you would probably use uh, Midnight Magic for the fall. And so one of the colors that I have on is called Trickster. It has a sort of orangey uh, uh, tone to it. And then we also have some Freakish and some of the Charmed. So you might want to start um, hanging out in sort of the Charmed and enchantment sort of areas, but then highlighting with the, giving some depth with the hypnotic and wicked or um, spellbound. So, but I also tend to like, uh, like for every day, just a little brightness is um, illusion, which is a um, sort of mauve purplish kind of color. Um, so you can pretty much do a mix. You have 12 shades. You don't have to stick to one shade. Like if you're changing your, your clothes or your look, it's how you feel. And you can start just, you know, if you start with like three colors, you can start making your own look. You can see that this is not like super um, smoky or anything like that. But it's, it, for me, it gives me that confidence during the day um, that I know I have my, my game face on. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, these are our colors for that you can just get you right into fall. And, and, you know, depending on how you assort your colors, it can take you into the evening. It can take you into holiday. Like yeah. you might want to do like, say Wicked is like black. Like instead of, you know, you can do your black with the glitter and then you can come in with like sort of Supernatural, which has this gold, like almost like the colors of her um, dress. But you can, you can kind of create your own look. Sometimes you can Google um, different eye looks, but there's, a, there's plenty of colors in this palette that will take you... Um, through to day to night, as you can see, we both use the same palette with different looks. I look very, you know, very uh, sort of, I want to say uniform, uniform sort of look. Mm -hmm. And she in natural. Yeah, very natural, natural. Just, just, just accentuating my, my um, features, right? Yeah. And then go too bold or too bright. But in the evening, I would definitely bump everything up more like uh, Karima, darker lips, but She's got the bright look going on. So um, yeah, so these are some great colors for fall. You can't go wrong with any of these colors in this palette. Yes. Love that. And we just have a few more comments just complimenting you guys' makeup looks. And those are from 
Terry and Evelyn. So Evelyn's actually my mom and she doesn't wear makeup. She's in her sixties, but she did kind of comment, like, I don't even know how to apply makeup. So for the viewers watching who are interested in black radiance, they love how you guys look and how your skin is still glowing beneath the super healthy products that you have on. What are some Holy grail products that you could put in a brand new beginner makeup kit from black radiance? Well, so that's a really good one. Yeah. So if you are a beginner uh, makeup user or, um, I would say do something like what I did, right? So just don't go crazy because then you might you might go, oh, I don't like what I did. You know, just start um, building on, on your features. So one of the things you're going to want is the contour palette because you have the opportunity in this one purchase to do so many things. You get to contour, sculpt, and highlight in one palette. Um, so this is like, I would say makeup 101, right? So, uh, and get the one that's closest to your skin tone so that um, you're able to do the sort of- And there's a contour. graphic on here to right. kind of tell you how to do it. Exactly. Um, then I would say, um, yeah, find a lipstick that works for you, that um, I always try to go like, what's my everyday lipstick, right? So bear with me, it's kind of like an everyday. I can just put it on and just keep going and not worry. Um, and then go in with a, a lip gloss. Um, so those, th and I think, you know, just like mom, <laughs> who we're talking to is that, um, definitely want to use, um, uh, a mascara that works for you. You don't have to go in too heavy, but it definitely brightens your eye. If you, if you don't do anything else, you should always do your eyes because they say your eyes are the, the window to your soul, right? So you want to look, um, uh, look alive, look bright, look like you're excited about your day. So I would always put on um, like a, even a fine eyeliner um, and definitely some mascara. So if I had two things to carry, you know, survival kit, I would definitely have a mascara and something for my lips. Um, but this, what's really nice about our contour palette that actually I could use sculpt as a sort of like a, a dusting powder or, or a finishing powder if I wanted to, because it's very close to my skin tone. Although I just really prefer soft focus. Soft focus is really for like, you know, longevity to, to, to really seal everything in. But um, if mom, if you want like just the 101, go for your contour palette, um, you know, your favorite lip color that's not too bright, not, you know, just really just is almost like say every day, but yet you have that confidence that you have your game face on and that you're feeling really good. And then um, at least the mascara. So those would be my, you know, survival kit, if that, if that helps you out. There's some good tips. Love it. Well, Sherry and Karima, thanks so much for joining us today. To our viewers, you can pick up Black Radiance products at your local BX or PX and on the world's largest exchange at shopmyexchange.com. Before we go, Sherry and Karima, do you have any last words for our viewers? Well, thank you for allowing us to come into your homes or your yeah. offices today. Um, Thank you all for your service that you do for us daily. You know, that we just thank you for, for that. Uh, you make us feel safer. Um, and while you make us feel safer, we hope you make, we make you feel more beautiful. Um, and just, uh, well, follow us on uh, all our social channels at uh, Black Radiance Beauty. You can find us on any social media platform. So you can also see some of the looks that we are putting out with influencers or events that we're doing. So we're always sh showcasing our products through different looks. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, so I think that will give you some little tutorials. We have lots of tutorials going on through our um, influencers. Um, so yeah, you, you know, let us be your hub <laughs> for your makeup tutorials and um, your makeup source. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank every thanks everyone for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for the next Beauty Live and follow us on Shop My Exchange on Facebook so you can know when the next Beauty Live is, as well as all the cool promotions and great things that are going on with the exchange. Thank you. Bye. All right.